Guys, hello? Ah. Today is such a great day because we are back solo traveling and look what my sister bought me. Honestly, I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> not gonna cry. How thoughtful. And hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I love you so much. Thanks for joining me. Look what my sister got me. Oh. Look how thoughtful this is. Basically, it's a map of the UK and you scratch off all the places that you've been. So Northern Ireland, England, Wales and Scotland are all on this map. And I'm gonna frame it and put it somewhere and then every time we go somewhere, I'm gonna tick it off. That, honestly, that is just so thoughtful. Surprise, we're staying in a bubble, literally a balloon. Um, also, Heartstopper has been, oh, I'm very I'm very energetic at the start of this video. I do apologize for being a little bit too much, but I'm just so excited because back when solo traveling, Harry Styles' new album's out. I really, really love it. Uh, Late Night Talking is my favorite so far. So we are heading off to Maidstone today in Kent, which is about an hour from me, which is amazing. Kent is just beautiful, like I love Kent. But yeah, let's go, I'm excited. I have no idea what to expect. But how are you guys been? I miss you. Are you guys honestly like enjoying the solo traveling? Like, let me know. Um, like, do you enjoy these videos? Like, I'm definitely like focusing on quality over quantity with my videos. Like, obviously I'm always, I, I feel like I'm, oh, oh, it's a mannequin. Um, like if you follow me on Instagram, I probably post on Instagram way too much. I'm on it, I, that, it's just my safe little space that where I get to share and chat with you guys a lot more like um, intimately, which I really love. I just, everyone I meet, I waffle on about the solo traveling. Cause I, I like you know what I used to be like. I never, like I was, like, I was never, I'm, I've always been a confident person, but just doing things on my own, like oh my God. Oh my God guys, we're in a cute little village. Oh. oh my god guys we have just turned off the motorway and we are now in this subtle village hall oh my god so we're 11 minutes away but this place is so effing cute oh it's just so crazy how like just i know i'm i'm so London, but look at the little village shop. Oh my God. Like you can literally just turn off the motorway and then you're in this magical little like fairy miniature village. I just love it. Fairy. Um, <laughs> that guy, that guy literally just overtook took me. That is so ridiculous. That guy just overtook me in a 20 zone and then beeped at me. One absolute Wally. I'm super apprehensive about this because I've seen the I've seen the rule, um, not the rules. I've seen the um, the reviews, and honestly, they are like there's like 300 reviews, and all of them are like five star in all aspects. And I just feel like it's gonna blow my mind. No pun intended, because it's inflatable. <laughs> Pocus Pocus Two is out on the 30th or the 26th of September. I can't remember. Obviously, me and Zoe are gonna watch it. I'm super excited for that. It's gonna be great. I, uh, oh my God, what was down there? That looked like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house for the remake with Jessica Biel. Oh my God, that house through, I can't really see it. But these roads, oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm gonna spin you around. Look, these roads are so scary. Oh my god, so I'm guessing this is the pub, the Ringleston Inn. Cute! Oh my god, okay. Cute, cute, cute. Is this it? Oh, cute. Please ring bell. <laughs> oh my goodness me. This is where we're staying tonight. Oh my god. Guys, this is where we're staying. 
Surprise. What the hell? This is so cool. Liz was so, so lovely. Look, we've got Prosecco. We've got a barbecue. We've got a little fire. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh my God, the size of them ice cubes. Wow. I didn't bring a towel though, but I want to get in the hot tub so bad. Bye. So over here is the bathroom. In here, oh, how do I open this? Oh, look, tea bags, coffee. Oh, there's a towel, yes! Bathroom, amazing. Love, love, love. <laughs> and then over here, oh my God. See, it's just, it's little things, it's little things like this that, I don't know, it would be amazing to share this with someone. Like, how cute is this, imagine. Like, I can't even deal how this is going to look at night. Ow. Oh, I don't know. Like, I'm obviously, like, buzzing to do this on my own. But it's just, like, little cute things like this. I'm like, oh, it would be nice to have someone here. But this is not what this series is about. We're doing it on our own. We're in a barn. <laughs> I can't believe it. And look at our house. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Wow. Oh. My God. <laughs> this is so crazy, I, can, I can't even hear myself. What's in here, little fridge? Oh, look. This is the bedroom. Oh, there's like a separate bed in here. I might sleep in here. This is cute. Guys, what the actual hell? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is so crazy. What are we saying? Oh my God, it looks like it's gonna rain. Guys, I don't even know what to say. This is just unreal. What? I cannot wait for this to be nighttime. Oh my god, guys, you've got to come here. I've got I'm I'm obviously gonna leave a link in the description so you can <gasps> little purse. Hello. Hello, pussy. Little puss. This is just wild. I love this cozy little room in here though. I mean, I mean, this is just unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, this is crazy. So guys, I've just popped down the road to the Riggleston, uh, Riggleston um, pub just to get some food. And then that means I can just spend the rest of the night in the balloon, in the bubble. Oh, the Ringleston, Ringleston. This is so cute though, love it. I'm so, so hungry. Oh, that tree had a nasty fall. Bloody hell. This is so nice, guys. <laughs> oh, guys, I've just heard of Marmite butter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, I love this bread. Testing the Marmite butter. Oh, my God. So good. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Wow, 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 guys. Honestly, that was one of the nicest meals. Oh God, this is not good, is it? That was one of the nicest meals I have ever, ever had. Oh my goodness. Oh, and what a lovely man. And Wendy, I think her name was. He was, oh, 
there's just the, the community is so different in small towns like everyone knows everyone and like you just don't get that sort of community in london like obviously like there are neighborhoods and everything but i don't know there's just something different about country life they said that they get a lot of power cuts up here so if there's a power cut it is going to deflate and i'm going to piss myself imagine that like I'm, I'm like fast asleep and it starts deflating oh my god i'm scared but i'm so excited so guys i'm back at the bubble <laughs> and it'd be rude not to crack open some bubbly Woo! party party in the world party in the world party in the world hey 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 bubbles are bubbling make myself a nice cup of tea and I'm gonna go chill inside I might put the fire on so guys it is that time again where I talk to you quickly about Sky Cinema so this month we are going to be watching Ghostbusters Afterlife I absolutely love fantasy adventure films so much if this is the first video you're seeing of me I am working with Sky Cinema and we are basically doing a Sky Cinema Club where every month I sit down and I watch a new film. Like I said, this month is Ghostbusters Afterlife. I've got the film ready to go. I'm super excited to watch it in the globe, in the bubble. Sky Cinema is home to some of the biggest blockbuster movies going. Um, there are so many of my favorite movies on Sky Cinema. Not to mention some amazing original films exclusively to Sky Cinema. Are you ready for the mind blown fact again? 52 original movies are scheduled for 2022, which means that is one a week. Oh my god, it's shaking. Make sure to check out the link and check out all the info you need to upgrading to Sky Cinema. It's great. Quick rundown of the movie. Um, basically, a single mum and her two kids move to a new town and they soon discover that they have a connection to the original Ghostbusters. Ooh. That was my um, that was my imitation of a ghost. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my god, Ghostbusters Afterlife was amazing. Paul Rudd. <sighs> I love Paul Rudd. And also, I just... Do you know those films where it's just solely based on kids solving mysteries and everything? Like the Goonies and Stranger Things. Also, the guy from Stranger Things is in um, Afterlife. Um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Really enjoyed the film. Um, fantasy, comedy, adventure. Make sure to check out the links in the description so you can find out how to upgrade to Sky Cinema, guys. It is so worth it. It's amazing. Once again, Sky, I bloody love you. Thanks so much. Um, solo traveling there's definitely nothing to do um, like in terms of exploring it is so quiet got my heart stopper just I'm trying to read it as slowly as I can I've got this and then the Nick and Charlie book and then I'm done I just don't want to finish it
guys, it's getting darker. I'm so excited for it to be night time. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also pooing myself. I don't think you understand how dark it's gonna be. It's getting quite chills now, but the fire is so delightful. Simply no place to go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is the most, um, Dunno, this is the most, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but this trip so far, I've been here hours, apart from in the pub. This is like really secluded. Like I just put up a TikTok and it was this quote where it's like, if you feel alone, it's like you're not on your own. You're not, you're not by yourself, you're with yourself and the relationship that you have with yourself is guaranteed to last a lifetime which i think is really powerful and lovely and it's true but like i just never imagined i'd do this like i'm on my own like on my own in the ma in, in, in the middle of a massive field and yeah like this is different this one this time round is different because i haven't got anything to sort of like keep me occupied like walking around seeing the sights i'm literally just like reading or sitting around who did i meet the other day oh my god oh my god i want to say jerry i don't know if it was jerry but i met you in abergavenny and you were so sweet that you love my videos and that you put me on as your background sometimes you just put my videos like rolling on in the background and i i can't believe i'm that person because I have YouTubers that really, really, like, literally make my day. And streamers that I literally don't, like... Maybe it hasn't got my full attention, but just the fact that they're there... Oh, my God. The fact that I'm that person for you, that you literally just leave my videos running, and that brings you comfort, is literally tick, job done. Because I have that. I don't know where I'd be without some of... Not so much YouTube... Yeah, I mean, a couple of YouTubers now... But it's mostly like TikTok, um, Twitch streamers. Like, there's a particular streamer that I just absolutely adore. That he literally streams Grand Theft Auto roleplay. He's Australian and he does it for like 10 hours straight at a time. And it's just so nice just to have it on. Um, just to have it on as a little bit of company. Um, but yeah, the fact that I'm that for some of you is just amazing. I'm so peaceful. I am literally feel so peaceful. And I think that's the main thing. I'm just waiting now for it to get pitch black dark and I'm gonna be like pooing myself. Yeah, I'm not gonna even tell you what that barn reminds me from a movie. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna write it on the screen now because I just can't deal with that. But it's very similar to a horror film. Ah, no, why did I say that? I'm gonna shit myself now. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello? what's happening there we go so guys there is a um <laughs> look what is this there is a tesco superstore about 20 minutes away so i'm gonna go there i just want to eat something um but yeah let's go it is quite cold now so i'm gonna turn on the lights for when uh we get back because i think by the time we get back it's gonna be really dark so I'm just going to come in here and just turn this one on. I'm excited to see how the solar lights look over here as well. Okay, guys, this is really freaking scary. Okay, there's the globe. Oh my god. It's scary, guys. Oh, you can't really see it, but... Love this little light in here. Got me basket and inside here I've got some yogurts and some fruit for tomorrow morning. I don't know if I like it. I feel very exposed. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep in here. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. It's like the bed is comfy. It's so exposed in here of a night. I knew what I was getting myself into, but now it's actually like quarter past ten. It is actually very, very sketchy. <laughs> like, I feel safe, but it's just like, I don't know. It's really creepy. I'll definitely have to put some cosy stuff on to watch. Guys, this is so creepy. I can't even tell you how anxious I am right now. <clears throat> I'll be fine. I'm just going to put on my cosy little podcasts and literally just chill. I'm making myself a hot chocolate to sit by the fire because I can't sleep. <laughs> Guys, can you see the stars? I don't know if you can, maybe when we're inside. But I love it out here. Just been sat here with my hot chocolate, I've been catching up um, with my New Zealand friend, which has been lovely. He's been telling me about his excursions. He basically said that um, he slept in a cave <laughs> with no tent. So if he can do that, I can definitely stay in here. Um, so he's definitely reassured me and I feel so much better now. You can't see anything guys, but sleeping below the, below, below the stars, got the heater on. I feel so much more chilled and relaxed now. Um, yeah, I feel good. <laughs> Till tomorrow. Good morning, I made it. <laughs> Condensation now. Oh my God, what a beautiful morning. I can't believe I slept in there last night. You're quite puffy. Wow, that was an experience. Am I cut out for the camping life? I'm not sure. Did I end up having a really nice sleep? I actually did. I don't feel that great, if that makes sense. Like, I don't feel, like, refreshed at all. Um, but I think that's because, like, in the morning, it's so crazy. It's so funny how, in the morning, how peaceful it is. But it's like a different world when it's dark. For the first time, I don't think I did too bad. Even though I was very nervous last night. I think it was just all the different sounds. And I live in South London, I'm used to like crazy sounds all the time but i don't know i had fun i really did i'm gonna have some breakfast now so i put the fire on oh look at that that's nothing to be scared of mark <laughs> you big old puss we've got pomegranate we've got some of this and some watermelon oh look there's no killers out here <laughs> there's no ghouls and goblins ready to like take me away Apologies to how I look guys. So I'm heading off now. I had a lovely bit of breakfast. Had some more chill time. Um, yes, I am very proud of myself because like, like you know what I'm like, but if you're new to this channel, hi, that's like a massive thing for me. Like I can't even tell you. That was pretty scary last night, but I'm so glad I did it. Um, because it's just another tick. Would I recommend it? Oh my God. Um, like so much. Um, it was definitely one of the most unusual places I've ever stayed. Um, do I recommend it for solo traveling? Yeah, that is such an amazing place to go with someone like friends or whatever. 
or your significant other um, or like like a family would be so good um, but yeah I think being on my own that was very challenging oh, I look so puffy that was very very challenging um, but I'm so glad I did it I'm so glad I didn't go home I knew I wouldn't have gone home but I just had to be dramatic for a second because it was so scary just remember you're watching like five minutes of me panicking that was like a whole night there but luckily it didn't get dark until like half nine um but yeah guys oh i'm so proud of myself that i did it because yeah that's just another tick um so yeah if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and i shall um see you very soon i love you so much i love you so much thank you for everything and i shall see you very soon goodbye